I made an earlier video that showed an unboxing of an Axminster AT 430DS drum sander, so I thought I would post some thoughts on the ownership experience. If you've seen the previous video, you'll see that it arrives well packaged on a pallet. Assembly is easy apart from the physical challenge of moving the main unit, which weighs nearly 100 kilos from the pallet to the supplied stand. It's a very substantially built machine that should last forever in a hobbyist workshop like mine, however I had a few issues with it. The initial problem was how difficult it was to change belts. Putting the tail end on was a complete pain, which was demonstrated by the belt that came pre-installed being loose. There's a lack of access to the clip both to open the clip and to see what's going on. More on that later. The first thing I sanded was a rosewood fretboard blank. This went okay but seemed inconsistent. If you did multiple passes through without raising the conveyor belt, you would expect each pass to take off less material than the previous but this was not always the case, with sometimes the third pass sounding like it was taking significantly more material than the first, and occasionally burning it. I still managed to get the board flat and smooth though. The second thing I sanded was a jointed book matched maple board. This was supplied to me already re-sawn, but with a slightly different thicknesses, probably about 100 bit millimetres difference, which meant that when I glued them together there was a small step down the middle of the board. When I tried to sand this, the inconsistency reappeared, but this time, as the board was so much wider, it caused a lot more problems. You would send it through once with it hardly touching the wood, then the next time it would obviously be trying to take a lot more off, and would frequently burn the surface, and it eventually snapped the belt. This wound me up so much, I put the project on hold for a number of weeks. When I got back to it, I had the same problems again, despite taking a lot of time to make sure the belt was properly installed and tensioned. I spoke to the technical supporter at Axminster, who sent out one of their engineers to take a look. The main points to come from his visit were that he thought my dust extraction was inadequate and the build up of dust could be causing the issues, that to attach a new belt it was necessary to trim the ends of the pre-cut belts bought from Axminster, both for length and width, and it may be better to mount the board on a sled to ensure that it could not rock, although I was not convinced about this as the board did not rock on my workbench. So off I go to Axminster website and buy an £800 AW118CE workshop dust extractor. Once that was hooked up I try sanding the jointed maple board again and pretty much straight away it snaps the belt that the engineer fitted again. So at this point having gone through £100 worth of sandpaper and bought an £800 extractor and still having problems with it, it's fair to say I'm not happy. I have a few more conversations with the Axminster engineer. They are convinced there is nothing wrong with the machine and the problems are the way I'm using it. They point out that they would be having loads of returns if there was something fundamentally wrong with the design, which does not happen. I'm still unhappy and they agree to, to allow a return, even though the 30 day no quibble return policy has expired. So a few days later I buy a Laguna 1632 Supermax drum sandal from Yandles. Once it is set up I pass through the same maple board that snapped the belt the last time on the Axminster and it works perfectly. So there you have it, my experience with an Axminster AT430DS. I had problems with it and would therefore not recommend it. Axminster felt the problems with the way I was using it rather than anything wrong with the machine. I will say this is the first thing that I've bought from Axminster that I'm disappointed with and their customer service was very good, agreeing to a full refund even though they felt the machine was working correctly.